Aw oh, yeah, Rivers back again with some cool tech. What I want to show you today is gaming on the MK808 Android Mini PC. So I went ahead and got an Xbox 360 controller. I got a wired one to have as little lag as possible, but a wireless one, if it has a USB port on the end, should work as well, as long as it's an Xbox controller. The only other thing you'll need is to make sure you have a ROM that supports it. It has to have the xpad.ko uh, file injected into it. I've got the Finless 1.5a ROM on this MK808 and it works great with the Xbox controller. I'll put a link in the description below to the controller and also to my video on how to install the 1.5a ROM. So let's load up on live and then I can show you several different games this way. And the Xbox controller works great with OnLive, and the MK808 seems to have no problem playing the videos. The graphics don't slow it down at all, and I think they look nice. They're not full 1080p, but they look pretty good. Uh, so here you can see other people's games and jump into them. If it was your friend or just strangers' games you wanted to see how they're playing, uh, you can jump into the games there. First up, let's take a look at the racing game, Split Second. So here I am driving, you can uh, steer with the analog stick and you can uh, use the other stick to check your rear view mirror which is nice and I'm using the triggers for acceleration and reverse. Next up we have Osmosis and I just wanted to show that games that were originally designed for a touchscreen phone can work, especially when they're in on live, you have a lot better chance of them working. And finally we have here Dark Sliders 2. This game plays really well with the Xbox controller and it feels just like you're playing on a console. This is perfect for this Xbox controller. Uh, the only complaint I have is a certain games, there's a slight bit of lag with the controller, like uh, some of the driving games. But on this game it's nice and fast and works, works great. I would say definitely check out on live. I mean, you can play for 30 minutes on each game for free and see if you like it. So it's worth checking into. And again, you need to make sure and have a ROM that has the xpad.ko file injected into it on your uh, Android device. So I'll put a link in the description below on how to install the 1.5a ROM and a link to the controller. And as always, thanks for watching and aloha.